Fender using an ESP8266 Node MCU. The ESP8266 can function as a range extender or act as a mesh. It can also run its own Wi-Fi network with a different SSID and password that you can provide to your guests. By having a guest network, you also protect your own hardware as they're safely connected to your main network. To begin, we need to download the firmware flashing tool from Espressif, links below. Go to Support, then Tools. Select 8266, then click Download. Extract the files to a folder. Now it's ready to do some flashing. On a separate tab on your browser, go to GitHub to download the firmware. Link is in the description. Download the firmware as a zip file. Extract the file to a folder. Go back to the folder where you extracted the flash tool, then open it. Select 8266 if not selected. Work mode should be developed. Now we need to add the firmware bin files we downloaded. Under the SPI download tab, go to the first box, click on the browse or three dots. Go to the folder where you extracted the firmware and select the first one. Enter 0x00000 in the box next to it. Then go to the second one, select the second bin file, then enter 0x02000 on the opposite box. Lastly, select the last bin file and enter 0x82000 in the box. Check the boxes on the far left, they should all be green, which tells you everything is good. The COM port only shows one since I have not plugged in the 8266. You will need a micro USB cable to connect the 8266 to your PC. Plug in the 8266, then select the new COM port that pops up. In my case it's COM3, it could be different in your computer. Select 80 MHz on SPI speed. And 115200 as baud rate. Once everything is good, click start. The flash tool will tell you once it is done. You can confirm this on the 8266, there should be no light on the unit at this point. Disconnect and reconnect the 8266. To configure the settings, connect to the new Wi-Fi network, MyAP. Using your web browser, enter the IP address 192.168.4.1 Or you can use an IP scanner to find the IP of your Wi-Fi extender. Enter the SSID and password of the Wi-Fi you want to connect to. This is the Wi-Fi signal you want to extend. This could be the existing Wi-Fi network in your home, in a coffee shop, or even a hotspot device. Then, click Connect.
you will lose connection at this point. After a few minutes, check back on the My AP network. It should now have Wi-Fi. Now you can configure the AP settings, this will be the SSID and password you will use to connect to the ESP8266. Here I assigned a different SSID and password. Or you can click on Auto Mesh. If Auto Mesh is checked, the ESP8266 will share the same SSID and password as the existing Wi Fi it is connected to. We now have an economically viable Wi Fi extender. We can add more to make our guest network more robust and have a wider range. The thing to remember with the ESP8266 is the power supply, it can only handle between 3.3 and 3.6 volts. Anything over and under that range, the performance becomes unstable. I hope you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.